Hey guys, what is up? Sam WX here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scorpion exoskeleton build boat. So yeah, before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. Also, huge shout out to my friend Kodo over here. He makes really cool stuff, and he showed me this scorpion exoskeleton. So yeah, uh, before we get into it, I just want to say, comment Kodo, because Kodo is really cool. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, as you can see right here, I have the scorpion exoskeleton. It's pretty cool. You can go around, you can like slap things like that. As you can see, that slapped. Or you can slap people like that and uh if you really want to you can go up to people and hit them with this thingy and then they go flying so uh yeah it's, pr it's pretty fun uh you can do pvp battles like i could just like spin the sky and slap kodo around you know uh he he's destroying me oh my goodness <laughs> but yeah you, you can like fight you can slap people like uh, it's really fun so oh, okay so yeah uh i'm gonna show you how to build it so yeah let's go right into it Alrighty, guys so building this is really easy it's mobile friendly which means you can build it if you're on a mobile device and it, the only tools you need are the binding tool right here and the uh, property tool right here so uh yeah so first thing you want to do is get any block it really doesn't matter as long as you have like a lot of it or uh, by a lot i mean like at least 100 or 200 and then get your merge level to green over here and then you want to build up 15 of this block so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 15 just like that and then back or any direction really but probably i'm just gonna go towards the spawn build uh seven blocks so one two three four five six seven and then yeah you can set your merge down now because it doesn't matter i'm also going to paint these different colors so it's easier for you to see the rest of like the build so on the end of this right here you want to go down one two three blocks just like that and then you want to go to this like top of the three blocks right here and then you want to go down one stud just like this and just like as, if your moves one just go down one like that and set your move to 0.5 and then go right here like bring your cursor so that's pretty much as close as you can like to the wedge like right here and just place so it should look like this right now and yeah now you want to go to your build <laughs> you want to set your move back to one get your seat and place it right there uh, on the bottom of it and th that's pretty much just where you're gonna sit and then what you want to do is you want to set your rotate to 45 just like that and then you want to get your servos out then you want to rotate T two times like this so it rotates on that side then you want to rotate it so it's facing down like this down into like the left I guess if you're facing towards the water and then you want to press T two times again like this so it should just be facing down and then you want to bring it as far up as you can without it being on red so it should be like this just like that and then you want to do the same thing on the other side just facing the other way so like this boom and boom and it should look like this now so if you were to sit you'd be facing this way and it kind of look like a bird wings i guess so yeah and then what you want to do set your move i mean rotate back to 90 and then get your titanium rods and also set your mesh rotation on and get titanium rods and place them right here and and then you just want to press t so it's like this and it should be like sideways like this and then from here you want to place another one like that same thing on this side so boom and boom and it should be facing towards the back or like the other way of the seat so like this and then what you want to do is get another servo place the servo facing this way just like this so you just go to the side press t like this until it's like facing so like the darker part is on top and then you want to rotate it so it's facing back so like this so you, you're gonna be sitting facing towards the water so it should look like this okay and then once you do that it's pretty much easy just uh place a rod right there place a rod right there facing down like this kind of and then you just want to place one here but facing like towards the water and towards the spawn and then you want to place one two towards the water just like that and same thing here so boom and then boom boom so i mean it's pretty easy uh i guess it, it kind of looks like weird arms like this so yeah okay and then what you want to do is get wheels and then place a wheel facing down on the end of this rod right here so it should be facing like this so if you do that here boom and remember this whole entire part right here was with match rotation so yeah so when you place the wheels they should be facing down just like this so yeah 
Okay, now what you want to do is pretty easy. All you have to do is get your rods out again. Place them right here on the wheel. And then place one on one side and one on the other side. So it looks like this. Also, if you want, you can go down like this. Or, like, make them go down the other way. So you have, like, four sticks sticking out. But I'm just going to stick with two because I think it looks pretty cool. So, yeah. So, boom, boom, and, uh, boom. So it should look like this now. They have little knives on its, like, wheel, hands, whatever. Like that. And then we're pretty much done with the arms. Now all you have to do is get your servos out, set your move to 0.5, and turn match rotation off. And then you put your cursor in the middle of these two blocks you placed in the beginning, and it should look like this. And then rotate it so it faces back, and press T so that it's facing to the right, like the darker part is facing towards like the right arm right here. And it should be facing back. And then, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place another one like this, and then another one like that, like this, and like that. So it should be one, two, three, four, five servos, and they should be alternating like directions, I guess, like that. So it should look like this. It looks pretty weird, but yeah. And then all you have to do is, on the end, just place one titanium rod for, uh, for like the little spike, you know, that scorpions have. So yeah. Okay, now pretty much done with this part we have one more part to do so just place a titanium block under this part right here just like this i'm painting it red so it's easier to see it's like under the seat and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a block here and then you're going to want to place one block here and uh one block oh okay i guess uh they're all connected you don't want it to connect it still should be about three blocks let me just redo that so all i have to do is just place one block under like this um three block like thing that the seats on and then from that one block you want to go down two blocks then you want to go to the left two blocks so like under the seat or by two blocks one block just like this and then you go to the right one block like this and then to the left one block so it should look like this right now and also i'm just gonna paint them boom easy okay so it's pretty much what it's like just um you have your seat and then you have like this main like body part and then down here you just have like the weight so yeah pretty much done with that you can also if you really want you can collision off this right here or actually you have to collision this off but you can collision this off so it's easier to get into the seat so yeah just select like this weight and collision off and transparency 100 it just like this uh so yeah okay uh now all we have to do is place a seat and then i'm just going to unbind i mean no unbind this right here so all i have to do is like unbind these like backwards facing servos like this so all i have to do is just press on them and press on that and then i'm gonna paint this this and this uh servo red and those servos have to be collision uh, reverse rotation so the first servo you placed the second I mean the third servo you placed and the fifth you placed so just select those like this and enable reverse rotation just like that and then you just want to go to the left arm right here and reverse rotation that and that's all you have to do so yeah now you can save it which quickly save boom and then you're pretty much done so you can just load it and then all you have to do is an anchor and then just press a or uh, left and then press W or forward and then jump while holding them like this. Then as you can see, they should still be spinning. You can delete the seat. And as you can see, everything's working, everything stayed. So yeah, also you can color this whatever you want. Mine are just still that same color. And then you can jump into the seat. Oh, you can jump into the seat over here. And yeah, let me just get into the seat. And also I forgot to say, you can make the wheel torque bigger. And like the higher the wheel torque, the better it'll slap people. So yeah. And then just place a seat and a cake right there inside of you. So it's inside like this thing. Delete the cake. And then delete these, like the big two rods right there. And then just boom, and you're done. So yeah, you can spin and your tail will come out just like, oh, just like that. And then you can go over to people and you can slap them and uh, yep, they just die. So yeah, that's how you build it. Alrighty guys, so uh, we're gonna do a little fight instead of a race, and uh, it's gonna be a free for all with me, Waddler, and Kmart. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a countdown. So three, two, one. 
uh, go. Okay, well, I guess it's on now. Walt's got, Walt's got Donk, and he's got a super OP mech that, uh, is powerful. I'm flying away. Wait, candy? And then I'm OP. <laughs> kill, kill. Oh my goodness. Dude, this mech is so OP. Oh my god. <laughs> also, these shambles right here are a sword, so, uh, he could have had a super heavy sword, too, so, uh, danger. Yeah, you broke him. Okay, now it's just me versus you. Who wins? Uh, I'll spin. Wait, can I hit you with my little spinners? Oh god. Oh my god, you just- What is up with your neck? You good? Oh my god, you okay? Uh, what's up with your neck? I think you're having a problem. When's his arm gonna come off? I really want his arm to just- Oh my goodness, he just sent me out of the battlefield. No, I'm still- I'm still alive. Oh, if you- if you get die or out of the team, like into another team's plot, I guess is how you lose. What the heck? Wait, I'm a fly glitch. Oh, okay, uh, I do not want help. Help! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we're taking a little break uh, to add TNT. Okay, ready and uh, go. Okay, now uh, it's attack, and I'm probably gonna get precision stomped by someone and die. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> well, you're out of the team and came where it doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. If you if you can't move, you're dead. There we go. <laughs> I don't want you to spin. I want you to explode, dong. No. You removed me. No. I'm trying to, like, preserve this TNT. Uh-oh. <laughs> I will massacre you. Could we just consider a tie? Because I don't want to die. Because, I mean, no one has TNT. You you have TNT, I guess. Uh-oh. Okay, if you're going to do that. <laughs> get, get over here. Get over here. Ah! Oh my god, no, Walter. No. Okay, I guess I guess Walter won this because uh, I guess he's the only one that has a thing left. It's GG. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and see you.